Saturday morning. Hmm. All right. On a not-so-pleasant spring day in Melbourne, Australia, the sweet pollen count was irritatingly high. Hong Yang insisted that he and Ao spend the day in his bedroom watching a movie rather than going outside. The redhead did not fare well when it came to hay fever season. Chips. Ao motioned with his hand, hovering it in front of his boyfriend. You never say please. Although Ao's manners were absent, Hong Yang still handed over the yellow bag of cheese and onion potato chips. Ta. The spectacled male ignored his boyfriend's complaint and began snacking loudly. The two sat on the bed, arms with the pot, leaning against the wall with the iPad set up in front of them. They had been dating for two months already, yet there was still some distance between them, albeit the distance had gone smaller after their first date to the zoo. The movie they had chosen was a sci-fi one, about a time traveler and his wife. Ao claimed he wasn't particularly fussy and was willing to watch anything that Hong Yang chose. But after suggesting a few documentaries, all of which Ao rejected, Hong Yang decided that they should watch something different than usual. He knew Ao enjoyed watching K-dramas, the overly dramatic ones. He didn't understand why his boyfriend enjoyed them, but didn't mind listening to Ao whenever he became fully invested in the story. Hong Yang himself had an interest in time travel, so the movie he chose seemed to cater to both their taste. However, there was a particular scene in the movie that made Ao pause the screen. Oi! Can you believe this bitch? Hong Yang arched his brow. Language, Ao. Talk about the wife. Yeah. The leading lady of the movie had just made love to her husband. Well, a future version of her husband. She had an argument with the present-day version of him before he stormed off and left for work. Moments later, a future version of him enters the room, explaining he has traveled back in time again. And they just did the diddly? I need the story. Okay, I need the story to be real, because, like, it would be so funny to react to something like this, like, being for real here. Acknowledging his past mistakes, he apologizes before consoling her. He explains that although it will take time, he will eventually see that he was in the wrong and they will reconcile. What do you mean? She just cheated on her husband! Hong Yang's eyes had to blink very slowly to give himself time to process Ao's statement. Uh, uh, excuse me? She's cheating on her husband. With her husband. No, he's not her husband. He's from the future. But he's the same guy. Ah! But her husband from her time is at work, and she's here sleeping with her future husband. They're both right here, right now, and she's sleeping with the one that's not really hers. So it's two timing. I don't think it's cheating, Ow. The younger male twisted his face as if to ask his boyfriend if he were an idiot. Hong Yang let out a bothered sigh before shifting around to face Ao. He mentally prepared his arguments in his head, something he did often when the two got into a heated discussion. When you think about it, down to the very core, he is still the same person, and so is she, regardless of how much time has passed for either of them. They love each other right now in the present, and still love each other in the future, so does it really matter which version of each other are sleeping together? Isn't the point of this movie meant to be a romantic symbolism for loving someone through the ages? A love unhindered by even time itself? Sounds like an excuse to me. If future versions of ourselves appeared, I wouldn't consider it cheating if you kissed the older version of me. You saying that if some future version of me suddenly popped out of nowhere and wanted to screw, you'd jump on that? Yeah! Dad! Al contorted his face to show a mix of disgust embarrassment and disappointment. If a future version of you came on to me, I would be extremely flattered and honestly, kind of surprised. Because you've never even initiated a kiss with me before. That's... Ao grits his teeth. He knew it was true that he'd never been the one to kiss Hong Yang first, but he didn't exactly dislike it. The first time they kissed had been years ago. It was awkward and Hong Yang had been the one to initiate it. The second time was similar, occurring at a local festival. Hong Yang had always been the one to take the lead. In addition, the timing always seemed terrible, 
Owl was bothered by the fact that Hong Yang would usually do it when they were outside, and whenever they were home, their families would be around. They hadn't told their parents about their relationship yet, neither believed that their parents would react favorably to the news, so they agreed to keep it a secret for the time being. Owl was worried they'd have trouble hiding it from their families. Fortunately, the boys studying in each other's rooms or going out together was already a common occurrence before they even start dating, so there was no suspicion from either of their parents. Ugh, fine, come here, asshole. Shifting onto his knees, Ao leaned closer and grabbed Hong Yang's arm to pull him closer. He stopped just inches away from Hong Yang's lips. I'll do it right now. Um, uh, don't. Wait, 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 am I, uh, I'll provoke him to do it. All right, do it. I dare you. Fine. Closing his eyes, Hong Yang waited patiently to receive a kiss from his boyfriend. Being Ao's first time initiating the kiss, though, the long-haired boy also closed his eyes. His aim while blinded was not the best. Ah! Ah! Ao raised his hands to cover his mouth, while Hong Yang raised his to hold his nose. The pain from the collision wasn't so bad, but the sudden shock and embarrassment was what really got them. Did you miss? How did you miss? I closed my eyes. Hong Yang tried not to laugh as it scrunched up his nose, but he couldn't help himself. Al <laughs> felt his ears turn red from embarrassment. Shut up! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's just... It's so funny. <laughs> this is just like when I kissed you back in year eight. Don't remind me. The first time they kissed was years ago, and Hong Yang had kissed Al out of spite. Some thoughtless comment that Ao made about Hong Yang and his then girlfriend had annoyed the redhead enough to make him react impulsively. As a result, the two shared their first kiss with one another. It was clumsy, their teeth knocked against each other, and in the end, Hong Yang and his girlfriend broke up a week later. Kind of feels like we haven't matured since then, doesn't it? Ugh, whatever. Hong Yang thought back of the time the two had spent together, how so much had changed between them, yet at the same time, not much has changed at all. Ao rubbed his lips with the back of his hand one last time. Ao, about that time, what about it? I know it's going to sound kind of weird for me to say this now, and it's long overdue, but I'm sorry for kissing you back then. D what? Why? I only did it because I was mad at you, which is a stupid reason to kiss someone. Ao remained silent. Being mad at someone is truly a terrible reason to kiss them. But the spectacled boy didn't forget that he had been the one to provoke Hong Yang with his constant taunting and teasing prior to the incident. I wish our first kiss had been more... proper. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I'm serious. If I could travel back in time and stop myself from kissing you back then, I would. Don't you dare! Uh, excuse me? Ah... Uh. Owl lunged forward and grabbed Hong Yang by the collar. Stop talking about back then and worry about the me that's here with you right now. If you want to kiss me properly, then do it now. Hong Yang's eyes widened. He wondered if this still counted as Owl initiating the kiss. Oh! <laughs> lips curling into a smile, Hong Yang leaned forward and plunged those exact same lips onto Owl's, making sure to land his target before closing his eyes. His boyfriend's lips were warm and inviting, but his breath was cheesy like the potato chips. Not that he was going to say anything this time. Ao was the first to pull away, but rather than withdrawing in a hurry, like usual, he let his lips linger for a little bit next to Hong Yang's. Better? The redhead chuckled. He liked the sound of Ao's voice. Yeah. Good. This wasn't the picture-perfect romance story either the boys thought their relationship would be. First-time couples rarely ever are. But even though they would argue, make mistakes, and struggle with expressing themselves, the two boys at least cared enough about each other to give this relationship a try to see where it goes. And even if they didn't admit it out loud, they were both excited to see where it went. Ao wriggled his way out of Hong Yang's grasp, the older male put up a little resistance, knowing if he tried too hard to hold on to Ao, that the spectacled boy would only get mad. 
so he reluctantly let the warmth of his partner leave him. Perhaps it was also a good idea for him to cool down at the moment. Let's finish the movie. Sure. I'll shuffle around to grab the iPad. After pressing play and placing it on the edge of the bed in front of him, he returned to Hong Young's side. But this time, he just sat there, just a little bit closer to his boyfriend. Aww. That was sweet. I wonder if there's any difference if we chose to tell him that, like, his breath stinks, though. Like, I might try that out in a moment, and if I know this developer, they might or might not have an after credit scene. So I'm just gonna sit through this. Because, well, you know what? They, they deserve the love. They deserve all the praise. Special cat uh, thanks to all these people. Huh. Okay. Is that after credit? Until next time. Ah, come on! Right. I'm just gonna tell Owl his breath stings. Your breath stings from the chips, Owl. Freaking! Shoving his boyfriend back. Owl abruptly stood up and stormed out of his bedroom door. Hong Young sat confused and a little disappointed. He was actually looking forward to that kiss. I should have kept my mouth shut. Moments after Ao left, Hong Young heard voices from the hallway. Oh, Ao. How's it going, buddy? Enjoying your movie? It's dumb. Ao's mom and her boyfriend, Frank, had been home watching a movie on their own. Dumb? Why is it dumb? Because it is. Well, that sure explains it. Frank! I'm sorry you're not enjoying your movie, but why are you brushing your teeth right now? Cause I, cause Hong Young's are, uh, Hong Young's face turned as red as his hair. He hoped they didn't get any strange ideas. Also, any misconception one would think up from Al's answer would be far more interesting than the actual truth of what happened. Wording, Al. Watch your wording. He mumbled under his breath. Not that anyone could hear him. What did he do now? So many breath stings. Sudden laughter could be heard. <laughs> He's just as nitpicky as ever. <laughs> you are like cats and dogs. Ah! Your mom and I are headed out to Woolies. You want anything? I'm good. Can you ask Hong Young if he wants anything? Hong Young, you want anything from Woolies? Hong Young didn't even flinch as our sudden rise in volume. Yelling to each other from across the house or at school was also a common thing between them. No thanks! He said nah. I'll paraphrase Hong Yang's answer, although Michelle and Frank could clearly hear him. Righto, we'll be back in half an hour. Okay, bye. Bye, mom. Bye, sweetie. Hong Yang, look after Al while he wear out. What the? I don't need someone looking after me, mom. Okay, auntie. Bye, Frank. See ya, buddy. After a little more protest from Ao, Hong Yang could hear footsteps leading both away and towards him. The sound of keys jingling and then the front door closing was soon followed by Ao storming back into the room as quickly as he had stormed out. Hong Yang didn't even have the time to greet him before Ao crouched down and exhaled a long breath of air in his face. Better? Minty fresh. Yeah. Good. Now shut up and close your eyes. Hong Yang resisted the air to comment about Ao's manners again, instead opting to obediently comply as he shuts his eyes and smiled expectantly. Stop smiling, he tried. I can't. I'm too excited. You're embarrassing me. Eyes are already closed. Just do it. Don't boss me around. The his voice was silenced when Ao finally kissed him. Lips still wet and cold from brushing his teeth, Ao tried to mimic the way Hong Yang had kissed him many times before. Unfortunately, Hong Yang could stop thinking about how adorable Ao was at that moment and had to stop himself from laughing. He tried to hold back his snicker, but when his lips curled into a smirk, Ao felt his boyfriend's soft lips tense. What? Hong Yang let himself laugh out loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're just trying so hard. What the hell? No way. I love it. I love that you're trying so hard for me. Snaking his arms around Owl's waist, 
Hong Young clung onto his boyfriend while nuzzling his face against our shoulder. It's nice. You really do like me, after all. He felt reassured, a feeling he didn't expect to experience because of Al. You think I'd date you if I didn't? Hong Young knew Al was right. The spectacled boy wasn't one to get involved with people he didn't take seriously, especially when it came to dating. You're right. I'm just... You're what? Hong Yang took a moment to ponder, but he couldn't find the right words. Instead, he let out a sigh. I'm just happy right now. The redhead wanted to convey his feelings towards his boyfriend, but since it was his first time in a relationship like this, he didn't quite know what those feelings were just yet. But as those two grew and their relationship developed, Hong Yang figured he would learn to express his feelings of bliss towards Ao eventually. For now, happy would have to do. Ah, whatever. The younger male let his boyfriend continue to cling on to him. Also, he only initiated the kiss out of spite. He forgot what he was annoyed about to begin with. Hey, Ao, what? Kiss me again? No, why not? Because you freaking laugh at me again. <laughs> I promise I won't. Distrusting, Ao narrowed his eyes as he pulled Hong Yang off himself. Holding him at half an arm's length away, Ao peered down at his boyfriend with a glare that screamed, I freaking dare you, bro. You kiss me instead. Hong Yang's chocolate brown eyes sparkled with excitement. Sliding his head further up Ao's back, Hong Yang slowly pulled his boyfriend in for another kiss. This time, his partner's lips were warm, soft, and inviting. He liked the taste of mint from Ao's mouth. Ao was the first to pull back, but only a little. Their foreheads still rested on one another, and they were close enough to feel the other's breath, warm and tingly. One more? How freaking greedy are you? When it comes to you. Very. Ah. Fine, but last one. Ao cupped Hong Yang's face and gave him a very quick peck on the lips. Hong Yang felt cheated. That one didn't count! One more! Screw off! Ao wriggled his way out of Hong Yang's grasp. The older male put up a bit of resistance, knowing if he tried too hard to hold onto Ao, that the spectacled boy would only get mad. So he reluctantly let the warmth of his partner leave him. Perhaps it was also a good idea for him to cool down at the moment. Let's finish the movie. Sure. Anyway, that was the Love Interest Get Their Own Game. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do want to play this for yourselves, link to the game will be in the description below. This was episode two of this, and like this is actually like part of the same universe as I'm a love interest in my childhood friend's reverse harem or something along the lines of that. And yeah, I'm I'm gonna be picking up that game soon enough. Like I do want to finish like some of the other series I have going on first, cause like it's gonna take me at least like three, four episodes to actually get through that game if I'm gonna be going through all the routes, which might happen. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but we will get at least like three episodes of that. But in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a lovely rest of the day. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion signing off. Ciao.